Hello and welcome, it's Dr. Red Frizzle here again for Key Stage 2 Science. Right, today I'm going to be talking to you about circulation. So first of all, I'm going to draw you a person. This time we're a larger body. Now this person needs to get blood around their body like any of us. And this happens because of the heart. So the heart is something in the body which consists of four chambers. I could draw you a very basic model of the heart here. So this I'll label the heart. And it has four chambers, two at the top, two at the bottom, okay? And up here you have something called the lungs. Spell L U N G S. Okay? So what the heart does is it pumps blood via these vessels or tubes that are known as arteries and they take the blood up to the lungs where the blood gets oxygen which then travels back to the heart which then the, the heart pumps the blood with the, with the oxygen that it's just got around the body so down here our right body then it travels back to the heart and this is a vein. Veins take blood to the heart, the arteries take blood away from the heart. Okay? And the muscles need the oxygen um, so, so that when we exercise, um, that they have enough oxygen basically. So, so we need to make sure that the heart pumps at the correct rate and this is controlled by something called our pulse. Now our pulse can be felt in our wrist and it's the amount of beats that our heart does in a minute. If you're exercising, exercising, your heart beats faster. If you're relaxing, your heart rate slows down. And what we want is we want a healthy heart. So what we must avoid is things like alcohol. I don't know if you've heard of this. Which things like beer and wine. And we also must avoid cigarettes. Okay and this is to keep our heart healthy so if we have a healthy heart and we can also exercise and eat healthily and if we do all these things and avoid alcohol and cigarettes then we can have a healthy heart thank you for listening and that's all I want to talk to you about in terms of circulation for Key Stage 2 Science hope you've enjoyed it